Would you like to learn the next 100 to 1000x cryptocurrency gaming gems with the potential to turn $1,000 into $100,000 if not a million dollars? I'm going to be ranking the following crypto gaming projects for their multiplier potential in the next bull market, which I believe is going to be the most violent bull market we have ever seen. And crypto gaming is one of the hottest narratives that's easiest to understand in crypto and therefore has the potential for great mass adoption. My name's the Supo Man, your superhero of 100 to 1000 X gems. I have found cryptocurrencies that went on to explode in the past. And in the next bull market, I imagine I am going to quadruple this list. And gaming projects, I imagine will feature heavily in this selection. So if you love content like this, make sure you smash a like on this video, watch that like button anime, and it helps me more than you can imagine. And make sure that you subscribe so you never miss out on Alpha from me, the Supo Man, who's been in cryptocurrency for nearly seven years. So I'm just gonna go straight into the action because there are a lot of gaming projects to talk about. As usual, nothing I say is to be construed as financial advice. Crypto is largely unregulated and high risk, and people who invest should be prepared to lose all their money. And everything I see to you in this video is for informational and educational purposes only. ApeCoin is regarded as the coin of the metaverse. It was brought out by Yuga Labs, the guys who bought you the Bored Ape Yacht Club metaverse, which includes Bored Apes, Mutant Apes, the Bored Ape Kennel Club, and Bored Ape Metaverse Land. This is going to be widely used across that whole ecosystem and potentially the metaverse because we have got the likes of Gucci offering this as a method of payment, potentially even for Gucci's entrance into the metaverse. I think from where it is right now, ApeCoin has got the potential to do a 50X. Immutable X is a layer two for Ethereum gaming and chiefly used for gasless transactions for NFTs is seen as one of the main gaming infrastructures in all of cryptocurrency. I bought this at around about 37 cents, which I think yields greater multipliers than where it is from here. So I believe that Immutable X will do a 20X. Illuvium is a triple A third person open metaverse world where you can battle against other online players. And one of the more mature, high quality games in cryptocurrency. Now, Illuvium has had a run-up of about 3x recently. Has the potential to do a 35x because in the last bull market, this one went to near $3,000. And I believe that in the next bull market, this one could be one of the top crypto games. I think on an optimistic level, 35 so I'm gonna put it there. Games for a Living is a games developer crypto project. That means they have multiple titles within their catalog. That allows you to hedge your bets because if you bet on just Illuvium, for instance, that's a single title game. It's a single point of failure. If that game is a failure, the whole ecosystem crashes. Whereas Games for a Living, it's got multiple games. These guys are 8X up on where I bought them. So I personally think from where we are right now, I think that Games for a Living can do a 35x. Shrapnel, like Alluvium, is a triple A quality crypto game that's new. It's going to be going into the next bull market as its first hype cycle. Now, Shrapnel is an avalanche based game. Whereas Alluvium is Ethereum, Shrapnel allows you to have exposure to avalanche gaming which is gonna be another new narrative in the next bull market, particularly because Avalanche has really been exploding lately. This one could do a 75X in the next bull market. UFO Gaming is another games development project. They've only got one game so far, despite being out for a few years. So I think that this is slow moving, but they could be just waiting for a bull market till they start launching updates and more games. So I think that UFO Gaming is a favorite for the crypto gaming community and it's currently 50x down from its all-time high. So I personally think that UFO gaming from where it is right now could do a 50x. Ronin is a crypto gaming infrastructure play. You build games with Ronin and Axie Infinity is the top game that was built on Ronin. Now Ronin is a 213 
million dollar market cap. So it's already high in value. So I don't think that Ronin has the best of multipliers. I will say Ronin is a 20x. Star Atlas is a triple A game on Solana. It was the first game for Solana and the quality of the graphics is exceptional. It's an open space-based metaverse where you do missions just like you would in GTA. So it's a large scale game. It has very recently near 3 x so I think that Star Atlas, from where it is right now, has got the potential to do a 50x and potentially a 75x. Wagme Games is another games development cryptocurrency like Games for a Living that's going to be going into its next bull market as its first hype cycle. And this one has explosive potential. This one from May to July actually did a near 10x and it's come right back down. Now, I personally believe that Wagme has got high potential because this is going to have a mobile-based element to it. And there's going to be way more games to come. And Wagme Games is a very crypto-centric gaming name. And I really like that. So as a result of that, I personally believe that Wagme could do a 50 to 75x. Axie Infinity was the top gaming project of the last bull market. This one set the standard for gaming projects that released in 2021. This one did a mega horrific 50 cents all the way up to $200 and has since come back down dramatically. But it has got a very high market cap and ever since its lows in the past year where it's gone down to $4.13, this one has not even managed to 2x during a gaming trend. A potential 20 to 35x for the next bull market. Metagods is a 2D role-playing game just like Legend of Zelda and it's got the same kind of retro look where you go into dungeons, beat end of level bosses and win crypto as you progress through the game. Now I would say that this one has got very very high risk attached to it. The team does seem to be updating their Twitter but there doesn't look to be as much development happening with the game in the last kind of six to nine months. The Metagods has got 50x potential from where it is now, but it is a high risk coin. Sidus Heroes is a crypto gaming project that boasts multiple games within Sidus. They've got a team battle game, a strategy game, and an open metaverse space game that's like Star Atlas. This one has exploded in the last couple of months. Now, I personally believe that Sidus has got very, very high potential. However, from here, probably not so much so. In about three videos ago, it was 4x less than it is now. So I would say that from today's prices, I'd probably say that Sidus has a 35 to 50x chance. Domi Online is a fantasy-based, massive multiplayer online RPG game. Where this one has exploded in the last month is because this is related to the Avalanche chain. Avalanche, as I have said, has done really well in the last month. It's made Avalanche-based games absolutely soar. Where it is right now, I would say around about 35x. Gods Unchained is the number one crypto card game. If you go on Twitch, there's a big audience for Gods Unchained because people love these card-based battle games. Now, Gods Unchained is presently 55 million in market cap with 50% of its supply in circulation. That means it's got pretty good pumper mentals and not very risky dumper mentals. This one was at its peak over $7. Now I personally think it will go into its next bull market as its first real hype cycle because this one came out in November 2021 just as Bitcoin topped in the last bull market. So it had no real exposure from bottom to top. So I personally think that Gods Unchained could do 35 to 50x. Ultra is the decentralized or crypto version of Steam. Steam is a marketplace for games. Ultra is looking to be the marketplace for crypto games. Now Ultra is going to be going into the next bull market as its second hype cycle. It's already been around since 2019. I personally think that Ultra has a chance to do around about a 20x from here. Compete is a games developer project. So with Compete, you have a central character, but you can play multiple games with that character. You can play Blitz Royale, which is basically just like Fortnite. You can play Kart Race, which is just like Mario Kart. You can play Social Deduction, which is a role-playing game. And then there is this basketball game, which also looks very good. Now the problem to me with Compete is that this is based on Ethereum. So it's not part of a new and growing ecosystem like Avalanche, Solana, Suite or Axos. 
So for me, I think that Compete has the chance to do a 35X potentially. High Street is a metaverse project, just like Decentraland. And what they are looking to do is essentially blend the metaverse with High Street retail. So they are looking to bring fashion into the metaverse and therefore working with these fashion brands. They're invested in by Binance and these guys have gotten up to $30 at their all time high and they missed the bull market totally. So it's next bull market is basically its first hype cycle. I Street has got great potential to do either 35X or 50X. Big Time is one of the latest games development projects that boasts a very high quality team. The person that created Big Time is the CEO of Decentraland. So he's already built a highly adopted crypto gaming metaverse. And I think that Big Time could hit the big time in the next bull market. I personally believe that big time is going to do a 35x from here. Wilder World is a 5D metaverse project. So this is going to be an ultra realistic version of Decentraland where you actually do missions. It's not just a open metaverse where you just build land. You do missions like in GTA, you buy cars, you buy clothes, you have a whole role playing game behind it. This was part exposed in the last bull market and recently this went from about 16 cents up to 33 cents. So it did do a 2x and I do believe that this one has got solid potential in the next bull market. I would say that this one has 35x potential. Meta VPad is a potential monster gainer for the next bull market. This is a launch pad for metaverse and gaming based projects and presently it's only 2.36 million in market cap. Now in my personal opinion launch pads are going to absolutely blow the roof off in the next bull market because they are bull market based tools. You get into launch pads in a bull market because they're always releasing projects and those projects tend to do very well. Particularly those brought out by Bluezilla who are the ones that created Meta VPad. So considering this is a games based launch pad I believe that Meta VPad has got the potential from its current price to do a 75x. Echelon Prime is a games development project. This one is on the Coinbase chain. And that is why this one has had explosive growth recently. And it's currently 146 million in market cap, which I do think is quite high. Now, these guys have already brought out a game called Parallel, which appears to be quite hyped. So as a result of that, I think that Echelon Gaming going into the next bull market as its first hype cycle, being part of gaming, games developers, and the base blockchain narrative means this could really do well. But it, for a 35X, I do think that's quite optimistic. Oasis is a potential Goliath infrastructure project for gaming. It boasts a layer one for projects and a layer two for each project to be able to host their own NFTs and gaming transactions. Therefore, it's almost like Immutable X but better that just does not have any adoption as of yet. This one came out latter part of 2022 and I believe is relatively still undiscovered. I personally think that Oasis has exceptional potential for the next bull market, particularly because this has been bought out by the guys from Sega and Bandai Namco, which are huge names in gaming. I would say Oasis has got the potential for a 50 to 75x. GameSwift is a games development project that builds on Arbitrum. So it is essentially the gala for Arbitrum. Now, GameSwift is a very, very low market cap at this point. However, if we have a look at its volume, it's extremely low which given that a lot of games have pumped lately, this is not an impressive metric. But all a gaming project needs is for big YouTubers to talk about it, and I do have a feeling that they will talk about GameSwift. As a result of that, I think a GameSwift is a 35 to 50x. Altura is a gaming infrastructure play. This enables for games to be built, and they support Avalanche and Phantom as well as the major chains. So that means they are trying to increase their relevance. Alex Becker talks about these guys a lot, and as a result of that, I imagine he's going to help pump this to probably mega horrific values. From a 44 million market cap, I think that Altura has got the potential for a 35x. Neo Tokyo Bytes is the currency for the Neo Tokyo NFT ecosystem. Now, I am part of Neo Tokyo, so I am staking my Bytes currently, and you get a decent yield on a yearly basis. Now, another reason why people are buying Bytes is because it's Alex Becker and Elio Trades gaming project. And also, the Bytes token enables you to take part in Neo Tokyo based launches. So, Neo Tokyo is also a launch pad 
as well as a gaming and NFT ecosystem. And you would have been able to get into shrapnel at a ridiculously low price if you were part of SITCAP, which is a shortened version of Citizen Capital, which is the Neo Tokyo citizens that comprise the Neo Tokyo ecosystem. Again, I think Alex Becker and Elio are going to talk about this ad nauseum. Now, when I first bought a Neo Tokyo NFT, the Neo Tokyo Bytes coin was worth over $100. I think that in the next bull market, it could go a bit higher than that. I would say a 20x is potential for Neo Tokyo. Decentraland is a metaverse project in crypto gaming and arguably the Bitcoin of crypto metaverses. Now, this recently hit a low of 27 cents, but during the gaming season only went up to 47 cents, so it didn't even 2x. So I don't believe this has got mega multipliers ahead of it. This is a safer play, a lower risk play for decent multipliers. I think a 20x. Cornucopius is a metaverse stroke gaming play on Cardano, one of the only games on Cardano. So this hits two narratives. And what happens is you've got a character and you can take part in mini games. So this seems like a good massive multiplayer online role playing game if you want some exposure to Cardano and gaming. This has already kind of gone up around about 3.5x since last December, but it hasn't really exploded lately. In the last month, it has not even done a 2x. So from my personal perspective, this is relatively unpumped. I do think this has potential for 35 to 50x. Eartha is a high risk crypto metaverse game. This is a role playing game where you can be either one of three types of character. And what you do with Eartha is you buy land, you build on that land, and that land makes you a profit. And that is why Eartha is potentially explosive. Now Eartha has already done a pretty decent rise in just the last month. And because of its low market cap, I think this has got potentially explosive potential. So I think that Eartha from here could do at least a 50x. Senate is the governance token for Sidus Heroes. Sidus Heroes is an in-game currency. Senate is the governance and staking currency. So this one should not have the exposure to people earning and then selling their earnings. So whilst I think Sidus has got excellent potential to grow just like Axie Infinity and Smooth Love Potion, I think Senate has got the ability to mirror and correlate with the Sidus price. So I think Senate has got the potential to do a 50x along with Sidus. Playable is arguably the coin I am most bullish on. This is a games development cryptocurrency on Avalanche. So where a shrapnel is a single title for Avalanche, player bull is multiple titles. This is the Avalanche Gala. Presently 12 and a half million in market cap. Now I'm really considering buying a player bull node because this will entitle me to constant rewards whilst playable games is at a low price. As it goes up dramatically in price, I imagine that people will really want nodes and pay a fortune for them. And presently they're about $2,400. So I think that playable games is actually one I am most bullish about is going to its next bull market as its first hype cycle. And although it has had a quite meteoric rise in the past month of around about four to five X, I think this has got so much more to come. I think that playable has got the potential to be the gala of the next bull market. And therefore I put this in 100 X category. Bullyverse is another games developer. With Bullyverse, you can play a multitude of shooting, strategy, and role-playing games. Now, these guys are only 1.68 million in market cap. But this one doesn't have anywhere near as much hype as other cryptocurrencies that I have seen. But this has exploded quite nicely in the past month, doing a 3x. So I would say this is a high-risk 50x. Victoria VR is a metaverse stroke gaming project that actually is very first person orientated based. So you put on your VR glasses and you take part in all these mini games. It looks very impressive and has far more depth than something like Decentraland. This has only done a 2x in the past month and still remains at a very low market cap with 2.5 million as a daily volume, which I think is extremely high. I would say that Victoria VR has got the chance to do a 35 to 50x from here. Hello is a cryptocurrency I was one of the first YouTubers to talk about, and it went from under a cent to 13 cents lately. So it's already done a 13x if you got in early. 
So in my personal opinion, Hello Labs has already exploited a lot of gains potential. And I think that it's still got 20x ahead of it. And it is going into the next bull market as its first hype cycle. But I think it's already exploded a lot. Everdome is an ultra realistic 16k 5D metaverse that's looking to be essentially the realistic Decentraland. This one did a 100x when it first came out. And ever since then, it has only gone down. So this went from being 0.001 as its IDO price, and then it went to 10 cents. Now, this is half the IDO price. So although it's risky, I think it's got superb multiplier potential ahead of it. I am going to put this as a 75x. Fabwell is another games developer project. This one came out at the tail end of the last bull market. So it never had that bottom to top exposure. But what I will say is, is that Fabwell has done around about 11x since the beginning of the year. So it has had an explosion. I believe that Fabwell has got the potential to do a 20 to 35x in the next bull market. Game E is the arcade of blockchain. These guys are also games developers with a bias to mobile gaming, which is where I believe the future of crypto gaming lies. And this is a reason why, despite having a 9 million market cap, this has got over 1 million in volume. It has been out a while, but what I will say is, is that we are absolutely nowhere near the all-time high of it. This has come down so dramatically from its all-time high that it has got high upside potential in the next bull market. I believe that Gamey is likely to do a 50x. Meta Strike. this is the shrapnel of the Binance Smart Chain. So this is a first person shooter, just like Call of Duty, just like Shrapnel, not as high quality as Shrapnel, but then look at the market cap. The market cap is a mere 119,000. This is ultra low, considering this once upon a time was 69 cents. And this has come down almost 300 X less. So I would say that Metastrike has got the potential for 75x. If this was more hyped, if this was on Avalanche, this could do 100 or 1000x. But because it's on Binance Smart Chain, I will say about 75x, but it is very high risk. PlayZap, just like Gamey, is another mobile orientated gaming development project, which I really like. If you're looking for a games developer for mobile, PlayZap is your play. Now, the metrics do not seem to stack up very well. It's 13 million market cap with less than 400,000 in daily volume. However, this is super new. It only came out a few months ago. And although recently it did do a 10x going from 4 cents to 55 cents, I do believe this has got more potential in it. I would say that PlayZap has got the potential to do a 35 to 50x. Myria is a games development stroke layer 2 project. So it's Gala mixed with Immutable X. And these guys use StarkNet's ZK roll-up technology, which ensures fast transactions with privacy. So this is Games Developer, Layer 2, and Privacy in one coin. But Miria has very recently done a mega pump. So I covered it when it was 0 0.0012 and recently has done a 3.5x. So I would say that from here, Miria has got the potential to do a 35x. Veracity is without doubt one of the most hyped, one of the most supported, one of the most bullish community-based crypto gaming and social media projects. Veracity has got an esports platform, which is the gaming part of it. And they have a product called Veraviews, which is designed to detect and disable ad fraud. People just absolutely love this, and this is not even yet on Binance. So I personally think that Veracity has got a 35 to 50x chance in the next bull market. Merit Circle, which has recently migrated to the token Beam, I think is a very bullish project. It has been around a while, although Beam is actually very, very new. Merit Circle's been around a while. Merit Circle is a gaming guild. They support gamers from impoverished countries to be able to borrow assets such as assets from Axie Infinity to have greater earning potential. But more recently, Beam has become a project that gives tools for crypto games developers. So this is an infrastructure project as well as a guild. It's a high market cap. So I would actually say that Beam is probably a 10x. 
projects. Wham is a crypto gaming project, again for mobile, where you have simplistic games to earn money. So it's a very, very low cap potential gem for the next bull market, particularly because this one is going to be going into the next bull market as its first hype cycle. That has lost a lot of value, going from 16 cents to 0.6 of a cent. So that means that it's lost 32x in its whole trajectory downwards. I would say Wham has got the potential for a 35x. The Sandbox is basically Crypto Minecraft, a metaverse stroke crypto gaming project where you build lands and earn. And this one has had very good adoption. However, the Sandbox is already 838 million in market cap. So from where it is right now, I would say that the Sandbox has got 20x potential, just like Decentraland. Nakamoto Games. This one has done a near 30x from the beginning of the year. One of the highest gainers in all of crypto gaming so far this year. Now, this is nearly now 100 million in market cap. These guys do really simple mini games, ones that you can play on your mobile as well. So they are a mini games developer. They are nowhere near the quality of Gala, but they have got quantity. It's quantity and the ability to earn. And these guys recently took Alex Becker on as an advisor. So I can imagine he's going to pump these guys as well as advising them how they can make their project more pumpable. So I do think that this one is a solid and relatively mid to high risk gaming project but I don't think it's got the multiplier potential. I would say it's got 20x from here. Sweepad is a launchpad for Swee-based projects, which I imagine is going to include games. Therefore, it's a gaming play. Now, this is very, very low cap, which means it's extremely high risk. 738,000 market cap, but it's got a two to one ratio for its market cap, so it's performing well for its value. I think that Sweepad is going to have competition, possibly from a Bluezilla-based launchpad in the future. But on the assumption, this remains the key launchpad for SWE, and they bring out games, this one could do a 35 to 50x. GameZone, like Meta VPad, is a Bluezilla-based gaming launchpad. But these guys are already 25 million in market cap with 59,000 in trading volume, which is an extremely bad volume to market cap ratio. Having said that, I imagine that this, these guys are going to be bringing out games ad nauseum during the bull market, assuming launchpads are still relevant, which I believe they will be. I believe that GameZone has got the potential to 35 to 50x. Star Launch is a Solana-based launchpad. In the last bull market, these guys went to $22 from $0.06. Cents. Recently, it has been as low as $0.06 cents again, but it has gone up about 3x. Now, Star Launch is going to be bringing out Solana-based games in the next bull market. And being Solana-based and with Solana likely to grow up in a mega fashion in the next bull market, I would say that Star Launch has got the potential for a 50x at least. Voxies is the equivalent of Sandbox, but at a much lower market cap. These guys were invested in by Binance. It's on Binance, and it's currently a 19 million value, which is low for a Binance coin. And this is gaming. Now, what I will say is, is that Voxies in the last month has only gone up from 12 cents to 20 cents. So it didn't even 2x, which shows that people aren't really hyped about Voxies. Binance based cryptocurrencies do really well in their first hype cycle. Matic did extremely well in its first hype cycle. So I think that Voxies has got potential to 35 to 50x. Superverse is Elio Trades crypto gaming project. Elio Trades has got nearly 600,000 YouTube subscribers and is likely to go up into the millions during the next bull market. And as a result of that, I imagine he's going to be talking a lot about Superverse. And Superverse is a gaming project, an NFT project, and a gaming marketplace as well. So as a result of that, I do imagine that this one is probably going to pump in the next bull market quite highly, just purely because it's going to be talked about by Elio and by probably Alex Becker, as it was in Alex Becker's last video. But this is an old project, did come out in the last bull market. It did go up to $4, which presently it's nowhere near. So this one could have an explosive gain in the next bull market, but I just don't think so. I don't think that this one is as relevant 
as a lot of the gaming projects that are likely to be exploding in the next bull market as its first hype cycle. Superverse will either 20 or 30x. Ava Launch is an avalanche based launch pad. So this is the only one that actually exists that retail can get into. It's presently a 6.79 million market cap. And I imagine these guys are gonna be bringing out avalanche based games in the next bull market. They didn't have shrapnel. They did have a cryptocurrency called Crabbera, which did over a 100X and that was a crypto game. So this one does have potentially explosive gains. This did go up to $18 in the last bull market. I would say that Avalanche does have the potential to do a 35 to 50x. Mobland is a mafia based metaverse project. This one looked like it could be the next GTA. Elio Trades and Alex Becker both talked about this at the end of the last bull run, which meant that when it launched in around about February 2022, it went to near 14 cents. And since then, it has come down 1300x. It's extremely high risk. Having said that, these guys do do updates on their Twitter. They've recently come back alive and they are showing that there is the ability to play and see their NFTs in action. So these guys are likely to make a comeback. As a result of that, this one could be a high risk, high reward play. This one could do anything from 0x to 100x. It really depends on what they can bring out, how well they market it, and who talks about it. If Alex Becker and Elliot were to talk about this once again, this one could probably do a 1000x. But it is so high risk. Cryo War is a Solana based mobile battle game. It looks insanely high quality and was brought out by a fantastic team. Now, presently, Cryo War is only 3.8 million. What I will say is this has had a nice run in the past month. It has done a near 3x and that shows you there are interested parties in Cryo War and this could do well in the next bull market. I would say that Cryo War has the potential to 35 to 50x. Network is a metaverse play. It was one of the highest performers in the last bull market going from around about 10 cents all the way up to $7. So it made a huge 70x multiplier. Now in the next bull market, I think that a lot of the fundamentals still exist with Network. And very recently, Alex Becker spoke about them. They went from seven cents all the way up to 37 cents. They did a 5X just like that. And I think, again, he's probably gonna talk about them. And he is the guy, I've gotta be honest, that makes Network relevant because I actually was quite lukewarm about this. So I think that from here, it's got a potential 10 to 20X multiplier. Last of all, Cdefy. Cdefy is a gaming launchpad, but it's not just that. It's probably the Bitcoin of gaming launchpads. It's the number one. This one is a route to getting into the top games in the next crypto bull market. And these guys have already gone up in the last month around about 3x. It went from 60 cents all the way up to $1.60. So these guys are likely to pump mega in the next bull market simply because it's going to be a route into pre-sales for the top games of the next bull market. I would say that Cedify from its current price has got 35x potential, 20 to 35x potential. So that completes the multiplier tier list for games. These are how I believe they are going to perform. I think that the next bull market is going to be one of the most violent. I think that the crypto asset class is going to go to 10 to 15 trillion, 20 trillion at best by the end of the next bull market. And I think the games are going to pump probably the hardest of every single narrative that exists in cryptocurrency today. Why? Because it's the easiest to understand. When normies come into cryptocurrency, games is going to be one of the easiest as well as memes. And we've already seen that in the last month, just because of Bitcoin ETF speculation, the games and games developers and games launchpads are three of the top four narratives that have popped off because of ETF speculation. Now, which game is your favorite? And is there a game I didn't cover in here? Let me know in the comments and let me know why it was a mistake not to cover it. Is there a cryptocurrency game that's on Avalanche, Solana, Aptos or Sui? And or does it have a mobile games bias? And is it a game developer? cryptocurrency because those three attributes 
could make it have very strong fundamentals if it is a low cap cryptocurrency. And if you want to know what I am DCAing into at what price and where I'm buying it from, then make sure to buy the Cryptocurrency Investment Course 2023 for less than $10 in the link in the description. You go to the final lecture by announcements telegram group and you will see exactly what I am buying in real time when I do. Till next time people, it is lights out, all out.